Well, it's nice to meet you for the first time. I know we spoke post-match on, on Tuesday, but how much did you enjoy being out there, putting in a good shift, and most importantly, being part of a winning team? Yeah, it was great. Great for myself as well, just to, to get back out there. Um, it's been a long road to recovery, and uh, for the gaffer to have his belief in me, to put me in so early, because I'm literally just back. Um, yeah, grateful for that. And back to man, I thought the boys were excellent. Um, we really stuck to our game plan. Um, we all performed really well, and uh, it was a great end result. I know you've worked very hard behind the scenes, but nothing beats playing in a match. Mm -hmm. Did you find it a struggle at all? Were you tiring at all, or did adrenaline get you through? Um, well, I knew I was going to only play was either 45 or 60, but to be honest, fitness-wise, felt really good, really good. I had a 60 out here the other day, so uh, I had a 60 with the reserves, and that was my second 60 minutes there. And Yeah, it felt good for me. It was just a, a relief to get back out on the grass. Um, long period of time being out, and... Uh, I've just got to say thanks to the to the medical staff and sports science uh, team for as well to get me out there and get me fully fat again. Um, well, the promise is the only time I'll ever go over old ground. Can you just talk, give me a little timeline of when you realised there was a problem and when you realised also it was going to be more, more serious and long term than maybe you first thought? Yeah, um, so it was four, four weeks into pre-season. I played Swindon on the Tuesday. I think it was Swindon Town we played a friendly then. On the Thursday, I trained. I pulled out a trainer on the Thursday. I, I thought I'd done a, a muscle. I, so I thought I'd just tweaked a muscle. So we thought, yeah, it'll be a couple of days. A couple of days went past. Next minute, I was in excruciating pain. I could barely, I couldn't really touch my toes. I could barely lift my leg. And then uh, six weeks later, so we were doing loads of tests. I had to go to hospital. I was getting injections left, right, and center. And then we came to the bottom of it. I had a bone infection. So, um, we came to that conclusion. I got the the surgeon and stuff. They told me what what was ha going to happen, and yeah, I'm just thankful to, to be back out on the pitch. Um, real kind of traumatic experience with the fact the pain I was in. I was still in a hotel at the time. Obviously, I just moved, so yeah, it was like uh, stuck in a hotel room, just lying there in pain, barely able to move. Um, and I'm just grateful now that I've put all the hard work in, and I'm starting to see rewards that I can get back out on the pitch now. And how hard did that make it for you to settle in and get to know your, your teammates? See, to be honest, it, it didn't make it hard at all because the team here is excellent. They're a great bunch of boys. Um, since the day one I came in, I obviously knew a couple. I knew Cal, roughly from like Scotland as well. So from I came in, I settled in really quickly. I got on well with a lot of the boys. And um, yeah, I've got to give it to them. They supported me from day one. Um, and yeah, I got through it in the end. And I'm just happy now to, to be back out there. Yeah, and... Um what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So um, has this made you mentally stronger, a better person, a better player? Uh, absolutely. Um, look, for me, when I'd, after that six-week period of not knowing what it was, um, and eventually we came to the bottom of it, um, I remember just lying in that hospital bed thinking to myself, look, you can either feel sorry for yourself or you can just get up and get on with it. And uh, that, I chose a ladder. That was my that was my mindset. I thought I would, I would just stick in at the gym. I would do whatever it is I need to get back. And... I had to rebuild my full left leg again and I did that and thankfully now I'm back. Yes, all that hard work in the gym has yeah. paid off. Mm -hmm. um, what I liked on Tuesday, I can tell you you know your teammates because you weren't afraid to give it both barrels at them if they weren't yeah. doing something right. Um, what kind of player are you? Is, is there a, an aggression to your game that, that will benefit City? Uh, yeah, I would say I'm an aggressive type of player. I don't like kind of talking myself up. I, I think I'll leave that for you as you can, you can see how I am and I'm out on the pitch, but... Like I'm not afraid to talk. It's, I think that's just part of the way I've been brought up. I'm I'm not quite a quiet person. I'm quite loud. So, um, but now nah, that's part and parcel of how I got on with the boys as well. So, and we say on the pitch is it's, it's never bad. We're still best friends off it. So it's it's always just so we can get the best for the team. That's all it is. Um, just demanding standards and making sure we drive each other. You can play a number of positions. Do you have a favourite position? Um, I've, like, to be honest, last three last three years I've been at Aberdeen. I've always played defence, so between right back and centre back. But I've mostly played right back uh, these few years. But obviously, if there's injuries, I've tucked in at a couple of other positions. Um, but yeah, I feel comfortable at the right side of defence. And how do you assess now you're playing the squad of players that Bristol City have? I mean, by, the, by Liam Manning's own admission, perhaps a bit inconsistent at the moment, but you are only four points off the playoffs. Yeah, Gaffer's spot on. Um, look, we're sitting in an OK position just now. Um, obviously, four points off the playoffs isn't much. Um, but in this league, it, it takes a good run of games, good run of wins. But for us, it's, it's that consistency. We need to have that mentality where 
we set our standard every game and we never come away from that, even in training, we set that standard and the more we do that, the more it's going to show in the games and the small details for us, that's the ones we need to start kind of shaping up on because now you see small details, we're dominating teams, but maybe we let them in a couple of times and yeah, that's the things that are going to make us better. So it's a work in progress, but the quality we've got on the side is it's real good. Um, since day one I came here, I've seen the top quality players and yeah, it's, it's exciting times for us. And you reference players like Cal who helped settle in. I imagine Scott Murray has been um, a big help on and off the pitch as well. Yeah, so the first day I came in here, I don't think Scotty knew too much and I've just rocked up and Scotty's a big Aberdeen fan. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, I get on really well with Scotty. He's been tremendous since I've been down here, especially my time throughout that injury. Um, he always kept making sure I was okay, you know, doing little things and that. And yeah, that doesn't go unnoticed. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for that. And uh yeah, but the Rocket Cal, um, he said I got on really well with him, me and, me and him are boys, so uh, yeah, not just him, I've got real tight in that group that we've got here and I'm tight with all the boys. Yeah, okay, well it's nice to finally see you in action and, and all the best at Bristol City. Thank Cheers, you. Mate. Thank you. So are they people having to come and visit you presumably when you're in your hotel? Uh, no, I was, in, I was in here, so I was coming in here, but for I think two months I was dragging my leg, I couldn't lift my leg hardly. Um, that was a case of me literally having to pick my leg up at times and move it. Uh, there was one time where I was in the changing room, and Harv sits next to me and I couldn't even get my sock on. I couldn't bend down to get my sock, it was that, it was too much pain. Um, so yeah, I was in painkillers constantly, I was popping pills left, right and centre to try and get me through the days and wasn't sleeping because the pain was that bad. Um, but now I've I managed to get through it and uh, I'm just thankful for the whole medical team to get to the bottom of it. Um, and Tom Phillips as well, the, the doc at the time, he was great. He did a lot of research on it, um, not just him, the, the physio staff as well. And yeah, we got to the bottom of it. And uh, I've got to say thanks to the surgeon. Uh, the surgeon did a great job. Um, I've left with a, a meaty scar, but apart from that, <laughs> he's, he's left. He's done a great job and I feel really good now. Um, I had a lot of time in the gym. So for me, it was just a mindset of trying to improve on different strength aspects in, in my game. and. Yeah, it's, it's just part and part of so the, the injury process and uh, I just stuck at my rehabilitation every day. Um, that was my mindset. I, I never wanted them to feel sorry for myself. I, I hate, it's nice to say, but I don't like that. And I wanted to just try and come back stronger and, and uh, try and show everybody the, the kind of player I was. A lot of time to think, I'd imagine, yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And you seem to have leaned towards the good way of thinking, if mm -hmm. you know what I mean, because it must be challenging itself that. Yeah, I try to stay positive as much as I could. Probably the hardest period was that first six weeks where I was in limbo. We didn't know what it was. And then it was relief at the end of the six weeks. As I knew what it was, we, we came to the conclusion. But and I had a time scale. Um, probably I shouldn't. We were told probably I wouldn't be playing until like February, March. So okay. I've managed to get myself in good enough nick to get, get back early enough. And... That's just thanks to the, the team that's, that's got me back and get my fully fit. Um, still working on a couple of strength aspects, but I feel really good. It's where uh, I managed to get 60 again under my belt the other night. But yeah, it was mentally challenging, but it, it makes you more resilient. I can't say the word there, resilient as a person. Yeah, so it was a bit of a traumatic experience to start with, but I'm just thankful it's like at the end of the tunnel. Does it speak volumes of the club itself? that you've mm -hmm. kind of gone through this, but you still felt part of the club. And because mm -hmm. I imagine, and I would, you know, I'm sure there's clubs out there where if your situation had happened to someone, it could be a very different outcome, not mm -hmm. necessarily in a physical sense, but just how you've kind of integrated to the place. Mm -hmm. Does that sort of speak highly of this place, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I've got to give it to the club, the chairman as well. They, they've really helped me out. They've, they've managed to get to the end of the problem and the support they gave me from day one. Um, even the old gaffer, Nigel Pearson, Dave Rennie as well. Um, both of them were tremendous. The gaffer actually, eh, Nigel texted me the other day when I made my debut, so that was a nice touch from him. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a, for me, it's just a relief to get back out there and it's uh, time to lock in and, and get ready to go. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll, I'll start looking forward now for you. But That's right. you're obviously, Bristol City is your, your immediate concern, but I'm sure you've got Scot Scotland mm -hmm. in consideration as well. Funny enough, Tommy was talking about that on yeah. Tuesday as well. Um, where are you kind of, where do you think you're at with the, the national team at the moment? Yeah, it's a target, absolutely. Uh, I signed here and I was picked in the, the summer squad and yeah. then obviously I was... 
I got that injury. Um, for me, it is definitely a target. Obviously, the immediate future than now is Bristol City. I, I want to help the team as much as we can and I want to help us uh, climb up the table and, and push on to the, the playoffs even. Um, but for now, the immediate future for me is Bristol City. But obviously, the, the Euros was always on my mind as well when, when I was injured. Um, was a target. It was another, I could say, another motivation for me to, to get back from injury as quick as possible. And that's why I gave... I uh, gave 100% every day in training and, and not just training, my rehabilitation stuff. Um, I always grafted as hard as I could because I know if I can get to that light at the end of the tunnel, um, there, was, there could possibly be uh, chances for other things. How have you found Bristol as a place? Um, yeah, it's lovely. Lovely place. Um, in some aspects, similar to, to Glasgow. I stayed out there for a while. Obviously, stayed in Aberdeen for a few years, but really nice place. It's lovely. Um, I'm staying in the city centre just now and, and really enjoying it, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, can I just ask you about the tattoo on your arm? Sorry, I can't oh, right, yeah, yeah. That's not linked, because that's like a sort of a bit of a life message on there, but that's not yeah. linked to kind of what you've gone through. No, that's no. Pretty... So, see, to be honest, mate, I would not be touching needles for a while <laughs> after the amount, the amount of needles I had to go through to, <laughs> to get my leg back to what it was. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be touching needles for a while. Fair play. Cheers, Ross. Cheers. Hi, Ross. Hi, um, yeah. Lee, uh, Liam spoke about when players go through injuries with uh, like a long time out, so Eamon mm -hmm. has as well. It's quite important that they remember that they're a footballer and they're not just in the gym doing mm -hmm. their rehab. You mentioned obviously how supportive the club have been. I just wondered, Liam in particular, how, how has he really helped you? Uh, Gaff has been top. Um, I think the first two days I was in, so we had a meeting. Um, me, the Gaffer, all the sports scientists team, and we picked out our steps. So they showed me a big PowerPoint and it was just... Um, of what my stages would be in the rehabilitation. Gaffer was um, really good with it all and then um, with a target date, targets in mind. Um, uh, and yeah, he's been really supportive. Um, always kept me involved. The Gaffer was always want me in the meetings to make sure when I come back, I, I know position-wise, the, the tactical element as well. And I know I sort of could hit the ground running really anyway. And I could, uh, I wouldn't need to play catch up if you know. Yeah. And you mentioned that moment kind of um, there was a bit of a turning point when you were obviously at a bit of a low point and you thought, right, I need, need have to battle this. I just wondered, is that something you've kind of always had or did you kind of find mm -hmm. that out about yourself, would you say, during the injury? Um, I think for me, it's probably just my the way I've been brought up. Um, I come up for the youth team at Rangers and the way we, we get we brought up, it was kind of old school. So there was never any feeling sorry for yourself. It was um, you get up and get on with it. Um, so for me, I got diagnosed with that injury. Um, once I get past that initial period to find out what it was and I know my time scale, it was for me it was get the head down, let's get to work and uh, rebuild myself and, and try and get back as quick as possible. Um, when I came out the the operation I was told probably wouldn't be walking for six weeks and then five days later I was off crutches and I was walking so that was ideal. I probably did a few walks that I shouldn't have done but if you don't know that, I was kind of <laughs> walking out in the town and stuff just to try and get my legs going. But that's just me. I was desperate to get back. I was desperate to get going. And yeah, I really pushed myself throughout the process. Yeah, it wasn't a bad match to come back and start first mm -hmm. game against West Ham. What was the build up to that like, having been out for so long? Was there any kind of extra nerves or anything going out there? No, no, not, not at all. I was, to be honest, I was actually quite relaxed. For me, it was because of the, the experience I've had with the injury. Um, it was more of a relief. I'm back out in the grass. I'm good to go. And, I'd rather get thrown straight in and, and get ready to ready to go. And um, you play, play as a top team like West Ham. Um, for me, I want to challenge myself against the best players, and I was uh, really happy to, to be chosen to come, come, uh, be chosen to play for such an early stage. Of me coming back as well, and yeah, I'd, I'd rather that hit the ground straight into it, and yeah, just get going again with the boys. Yeah, and Liam said after the game, the kind of reaction in the in the changing room was about finding that level of consistency. Mm -hmm. um, you're only, as ever in this league, only a couple of wins away from the top yep. six. What do you think this team is capable of this season? Um, I think that's the gaffer spot on, consistency. Look, we had a good result the other night. We can be happy in that after it, but as soon as the next morning came, we need to be back on it. We've got Watford this weekend, so you, you, you never get too carried away the highs and lows. You enjoy your victory, but then the next day you need to be bang at it, get your recovery right, get the training, the tactical stuff for the next game. And I think that's where... Uh, for us anyway, the, the mental side, mentality, we need to could possibly say we need to change it a little bit. We need to be more on, on the ball coming up to games. We treat every game the same. Um, and 
Yeah, we never take uh, any opposition for granted. Um, the focus needs to be there from for right the full uh, 90 minutes. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, Nigel sent you uh, the message. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when you signed, uh, Nigel was the manager here. You obviously yeah. never got to play the friendly, but not a competitive game mm -hmm. under him. So it kind of, um, I just wondered what you, your feelings were like when you saw that, the ma that Nigel um, had lost his job and kind mm -hmm. of, obviously, you were a bit, a, a bit uncertain for you, really. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say uncertain. No, I wouldn't say for for me. I was never uncertain. It was uh, uh, I always knew if I can get myself back fit, I can I can try and help the team as much as I can. But at the time when obviously when the Nice got um, ended up leaving the club, it was for me a probably a little bit a guilt for myself because I was injured and I couldn't get to play with them. Um, I couldn't try and help the team at that point. Um, whilst we were struggling, then for me as a, as a player, I'm probably one of the worst spectators. Um, you can ask at physios, I was the moodiest guy ever on match day. Um, I loved that we won, but whenever we got beat, the physios were better off just not talking to me because I just wasn't happy. Um, and that was my frustration. I couldn't help the team um, in that period of when they were struggling. And obviously it resulted in, in uh, Nigel losing his job. Um, but but now Nigel was great with me throughout the process. He would pop into the gym because I basically lived in the gym for, I think, three months. Um, so he was popping into the gym every day, every morning. He was seeing how I was getting on. Um, yeah, he was top with me. He was a, a real top top manager and a, a top guy as well. Yeah, and obviously Liam's been here for a few months now. I just wondered, obviously you've been training for a while, what, yeah. your, um, what do you think of Liam's philosophy and whether it suits your game? Yeah, absolutely suits, suits my game, yeah. And the gaffer, since he's come in, um, he's got his own uh, characteristics, uh, characteristics for the team and uh, his own kind of style of play that he wants the boys. It took his... Uh, a little bit of adjustments at the start and you can see it's starting to come through now. Um, on the pitch, you're starting to see the fruits of it now. Um, he's given us a lot of information, um, but the boys have took it on board really, really well. And I think you can, you can see the other night, the focus was there. The, the whole structure we had within the team was really good. Um, and, the, and the gaffer, he's, he's really got a good attention to the small details. And if you want to get to the top, that's how, how we're going we're gonna to get there with uh, all the small details, if we can tighten up on them, because the quality we've got in the building is top. And um, if we can tighten up on the small details, I'm, I'm sure it'll go a long way.